It turns out the probability of rolling the highest versus lowest substat on your echoes and weathering waves is not the same. Hello everyone, this is Wijali. I tallied up thousands of echo substat rolls and I wanted to share my findings. I also have some useful advice for everyone leveling echoes that can save you a lot of echo EXP. Do not level all of your echoes in the beginning to plus 25 unless they rolled really well on the substats. It's fine if you already did, you can keep this in mind for future echo upgrades, especially if you're running short on echo EXP. Let me show you. Currently, if you level just one echo from 0 to 25, it will take you roughly 143,000 Echo EXP and 50 Gold Tuners. This is around 2 days of farming from the Tassa fields. However, similar to other games, Echo EXP is not evenly distributed between each of these levels. Leveling from 1 to 20 only takes 80,000 EXP, and then it costs an additional 63,000 EXP just to level your Echo from 20 to 25. So with the EXP you spent for the last 5 levels, you can almost level up another new Echo from 0 to 20. On the bright side, not all of the Echo EXP you use is lost. If you feed any leveled up Echo to another one, you can get back 75% of the original Echo EXP and 30% of the tuners. My recommendation in the beginning is to focus on getting a usable 5 piece or 2 plus 2 set for your DPS characters. Aim for the correct main stats, and while 43311 is preferred late game, 44111 is also usable, especially if it's easier for you to farm the 4 cost boss echoes initially. Remember, you can purchase these elemental damage boost 3 cost echoes directly from the elusive realm shop if you haven't done so already. The shop seems to refresh, so we might get more in the future as well. For your DPS characters, Level your first set to plus 20 or plus 25 if you're happy with the substats. You don't need to be too picky for your first set. For your supports, just getting them the energy recharge or healing bonus 5 piece stat bonus is the most important. Main stats will not matter as much for your supports. Whether you use attack percent or healing damage bonus, <laughs> healing damage bonus. <laughs> Whether you use attack percent or healing bonus percent on Verena will not make a big difference here. You do not need to level your support pieces up very much. Maybe any energy regen main stat echoes on the energy regen set if you happen to get any. After this point, I would go back to focusing on your DPSs and getting them slightly better echoes with more useful substats. Useful substats being... If you haven't realized already, Getting the actual echoes themselves is usually not the issue, but we're very capped on echo EXP and tuners. If you do have trouble getting correct main stat echoes, and if this is a big pain point for you, my advice is to consider waiting until after unit level 40, since we can unlock data bank 19 and 20 for the 80% rate of golds versus purples. This should make it a lot easier for everyone to obtain correct main stat echoes even if you're just farming tassif fields and not the overworld. In terms of managing limited echo EXP and tuners, what I've personally been doing is leveling echoes to plus 5 or plus 10 and seeing if they unlock a useful substat. If they level into defense or HP for example, I will stop leveling them and try the next one. How picky I am depends on the cost of the echo. Cost 1 echoes come from normal mobs and can only have one of three main stats. This means you can be very picky on the one cost echoes since you'll likely have tons of potentials to level up. I often level a batch of one cost attack percent echoes to level 5, unlock their first line, and then feed them if they don't roll one of the following stats. Cost 3 echoes come from elite mobs and can have a total of 10 main stats. This makes it very difficult to get the correct main stat, so I recommend not being too picky for these. Depending on how many you have though, you can adjust accordingly. And definitely hang on to any energy regen 3 cost echoes you have. One interesting finding was that energy regen echoes seem to be more rare versus the others. While you have around a 10% chance of getting the right elemental damage bonus, there's only a 5% chance of getting one with energy regen. Some DPSs like Jiyan and Kalkaro can really benefit from energy regen, and I can see cases where you might even run that as one of the 3 cost echoes on him. 
Class 4 echoes are found from bosses and can have one of six main stats. The chance for each appears to be about the same, though sometimes it really feels like crit rate doesn't exist. Depending on how lucky you get with these, it can be either pretty lenient or pretty picky. Using this type of echo level up method can save you a lot of echo EXP since it's really expensive to level your echoes to the higher levels. However, you will become more taxed on tuners. You can adjust your standards based on what you have more of and what you're looking for. In terms of echo substats, every echo can roll every substat, but only once, so you can get a crit ray substat on a crit ray main stat echo. Substats also have a pretty wide range, with the highest possible roll being 2x or more of the lowest. Your substat value is determined immediately when you tune it, so once it appears, you won't be able to improve it. Here is the echo substat data I compiled for all the currently available substats. There appears to be 8 possible rolls for every substat, except flat attack and flat defense, which only have 4 possible variations. In terms of weighting, the rolls appear to be heavily weighted towards the mid to mid low rolls. As you can see though, this isn't actually a normal distribution, and the probability of rolling the highest roll is quite a bit lower compared to the probability of rolling the lowest roll. So it seems it'll be very difficult for most of us to get the max roll, and most of us probably won't see many of those, especially in the early game. I think that's all for now. I mostly wanted to present this data so we can set more realistic expectations for echo upgrades. At the end of the day though, I would say, don't stress too much about optimizing for everything. I think it's important to think about why you started playing this game. The echo system is pretty much the only endgame gear system here, and we definitely shouldn't be able to max it out so early. It can be fun to have things to look forward to in the game, and if you find yourself running out of things to do already, I think it's fine to take a break or explore other aspects of the game that you enjoy. Remember, the goal is to have fun. If you enjoy my content, please consider liking and subscribing as it helps the channel a lot. Thank you! See you on stream or in my next video!